Cool. Now we are back with a brand new video. Today is the day WWE is going to do Clash of Champions where every title is on the line in a match other than the 24-7 title that's always on the line. As you can tell with the R-Truth, Akira Tozawa then. So that, that, you'll probably see that a bit as well, my hair's a mess. You'll probably see the 24-7 title go up and down with R-Truth and Akira, which I hope they do. And maybe some other stars would be nice. So, I'm going to go for the matches. I, I don't know any of the matches because I know like one or two. Like I know the WWE Championship and all that, but this tag team matches, I don't know anything like that. I haven't been watching wrestling that much often because I've had other things to go through. I have been watching highlights, so I, have, I know a little bit. I, I, I know about retribu retribution and all that. And now you can see their faces, but they're still still got the ramps because they're still they're still my bad. So here we go. So then the our well, first match we know of is the WWE Championship will be on the line. Drew McIntyre will to take on Randy Orton again. And these two will be going back, but we saw Orton put kick Drew three times, and then next week Drew clear mode Orton, then I think the last one Orton occurred McIntyre last year in the Keith Lee fight when Retribution got involved. So, uh, this, uh, we tell us about facing clear mode, we've seen RKO, we've seen the put kit. It's all. Uh, so much, uh, this is one of the ones I'm struggling on a lot, but my money will have to be on Drew. Unfortunately, I'm going to say Drew McIntyre. I am a huge Owen fan, but I think Drew is going to keep his title to maybe Survivor Series, maybe. Be interesting, but not not now. I think unless Owen wins in some sort of weird way, like. Some sort of DQ way so Drew gets the title, that's all I can think of. But if not happens, Drew McIntyre is my pick for that match. Good old Drew. And this one, I'm very interested in the next one. The Universal title will be on the line. Roman Reigns, who's probably going to Paul Heyman with him, will take on Jay Uso, not Jimmy, Jay. And in this match, I do find interesting because the Usos don't, I'm even going to push it now, Jay Age, and they've been there from. I think it was a couple of years ago. The Usos, I, I, one of the, I think it was Jay who beat AJ Styles and Roman Reigns, with Roman Reigns in that match as well. My money's on Roman. You know, um, J Jimmy and Jay, the Usos, I know, if they go for singles titles, it shouldn't be for a, the Universal title. It should be for a yeah, Cruiserweight 24 7 or even US, maybe? But not the big girl, not right now, unless they're going to try and build up the Aquan family. You know, Jimmy, J, The Rock, Roman, Rikishi, if we all get involved to watch this, that'll be interesting. But my money is on good old Roman to keep that title. I, I, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Roman's going to keep his title to WrestleMania, and he's going to lose it to good old Lesnar. That's that's my big storyline prediction. I have been thinking that since last pay per view. I've told everyone that's, that's my prediction. If that happens, it means I know the future. <laughs> Right, so our next match is the Intercontinental Championship. It will be Jeff Hardy takes on AJ Styles takes on Sami Zayn. Good old Sami Zayn. And this match, I'm really confused. Right, why does AJ get a rematch? That's confusing because I thought they didn't do the rematch clause anymore. And the the scenes, I don't understand why Sami's in there. So it should be it should be Jeff versus Sami. Don't know why they put AJ in there. It's a data match. So it favors Jeff Hardy, so I'm, I, I'm, I don't know. Another match I don't know about. I, I would like to see Sammy win. I really would like to see Sammy win. But my Jeff's probably going to retain because it's a ladder match. So Jeff to retain, but I would love to see Sammy win. So, but Jeff to retain. Next is the SmackDown. We have Bailey taking on Nikki Cross. The match, another match, it's quite easy to predict. Bailey's going to beat Nikki because I, I think Banks will be the one to the Banks will be one to beat Bailey for the title. Easy, easy, lemony, squeezy. Next is the, the women's tag team title. It'll be Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, the champions, 
versus the Riot Squad of Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot. Again, the, the women's tag team finish, I don't really care about that much. I'm sorry to them, them wrestlers, I don't. But the Nia Jackson, Shane and Bezos, they, they don't get along, but when it comes to teaming, they're really good. The Riot Squad, no. So, they're nothing. So, and it, it says that Liv Morgan pin Beza, but Nia Jackson, quite rich people get involved, but Jackson Beza to beat the Riot Squad. The tag team definition movement is nah. I don't understand why why did they, why did they put the iconics? Hmm, that's got me really confused. Next we have the Raw tag team channels again. It'll be the, the Street Profits who have been champions for ooh, a long time. We'll take on Adrade and Angela Garza. I'd love to see Angela and Andrade. I'd love to see that happen. And, Give them that big, big push that they need. That they need. You know, they're great, them too. And with the Selena Vega as well. But then they got the Street Puppets again, who have beat them once. But maybe it's time for the Street Puppets to lose their titles to Andrade and Angela Gomez. I, I, I want to see Andrade, and, and that's my big pick. Is them too. Andrade and Angela. If I get that wrong, it's my own fault. That, so Andrade and, and Gaza. Next, you have the United States Champions, Bobby Lashley, takes on Apollo Crews. This one, and another match, I'm... Like, Apollo had a match with Bobby Lashley, last PFV with Bobby won, then Retribution got involved, then the thing with Alexander and all that, but my one is on Bobby. Bobby Lashley to retain his US title. Maybe the Hurt Business will get, Hurt Business will get involved, maybe, see, maybe we'll see Ricochet, maybe we'll see Alexander. Maybe, maybe. So, Bobby Lashley. Lord Lashley. Next we have the women's uh, Raw Tag Team, Raw, Raw Champion, not, not Tag Team, Raw Championship. Oscar takes on Selena Vega up the kickoff show, I think. Oh, Oscar. Sorry, I have to say, I said really easy, but Oscar, my money's on Oscar. But I think she's going to keep that title for a long, long time again. Maybe to WrestleMania, maybe to Royal Rumble. Then WrestleMania? Maybe? Next up, the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. We have Cesaro and Nakamura takes on the House Party of... Lucha House Party and... Uh, and last time I watched Lucha House Party had a little thing going on with them. And they betrayed and they came back together again. My name's my money's on Sinsuke and Cesaro, and the thing that Kalisto has returned, but no, they lose half point. They're, they're, they're good, but not yet. You know they've been around for so. Cesaro and Nakamura took the team there. Back to say you have it. my predictions. I will go for them one more time. Going from backwards this time. Ready? Whew. So Cesaro and Nakamura took the team. Oscar took the team. Bobby to retain. The big match. Andrade and Gaza to win the Raw Tag Team titles. I'll be like that. Nat Jax and Beza to retain. Bailey to retain. Jeff Hardy to retain. But I would love to see Sammy win. My money's on Jeff. And then Roman Reigns to beat Jade and retain. And Jim McIntyre to beat Owen again and to retain the WWE Championship. They are, they, are my, my, they are my predictions for WWE Clash of Champions 2020. Tell me your predictions if you want to share them. Leave a good old like on this video. Hit that big red subscribe button. And share this all over the world during these hard times. It's always nice to talk to other, talk to people about random things, you know. Thank you much. I am Dark Frog, and I will see you in my next one, whatever it may be. Goodbye.